Hi, my little Einsteins. My name is Miss Linda, and I'm going to talk to be math with you guys. So let's take a look. First things first, I want to say welcome to third grade. Woo third grade is so much fun. We are the big kids now. What, what? All right, so let's take a look. Here is our math book. This math book, we have two copies. There's volume one and there's volume two. Now, with our math books, we are going to learn many, many exciting things. We're done with all the basics. Now, we're going to go into the hard stuff that you're going to be using forever. And I'm not kidding. Literally forever. Until this day, we still use all of them in our daily lives. The first thing we do in our daily life is we use multiplication constantly. We're going to learn about multiplication and division. And we are going to memorize it like that. Back of our hand. Do you know that saying where it says the back of our hand? We are going to memorize them. Now you're going to be like, mm, why do we need multiplication and division? Trust me. With multiplication, I will tell you this. I use it in my daily life all the time. We use multiplication, for example, when we have worksheets or if we want to get any, uh, if we want to do any activities and glues and scissors, stuff like that. I have to calculate, okay, if I have 20 kids in my class, and Ms. Dina has 20, so I'm going to do 20 times 2 because there's 20 kids in each class. So I'm going to multiply it. That's a simple. Then we go into more. What about if we had five classes? What about if we had 10 classes? It gets into more. Okay, what if I have three trays of cookies and each tray has four? How much am I going to have? I'm not going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. We're not going to add. That's pretty basic and boring. We're going to multiply so we're going to use this in our daily lives constantly. So multiplication and division. Now, let's take a look. We're also going to talk about fractions. I am sure you guys know what fraction is. You guys know the basic fraction. Now we're going to go into details about how to cut it, how to change it, what's the numerator, what's the denominator, all that cool stuff. So third grade is literally the basic or the beginning of all the hard parts. So you're also going to use fractions in your daily life. So for example, when you order pizza, everybody loves pizza. And you want to cut those slices into equal amounts for your whole family. Okay, I wish we can get the bigger piece, but we can't. We have to cut it equally. we got to cut it fair. So that's when we use fractions. Fractions is so awesome. Now, we also are going to talk about different shapes, and we're going to find the area and the perimeter. We're going to talk about angles, so it's really cool. Now, when we talk about area and perimeter, that's when we use it in our, for example, if you're an architect or an engineer or a scientist, you're going to know, you need to know all of these. So these information is very useful in our life. So I usually say third grade is the foundation of everything else. You're going to use it in middle school, you're going to use it in high school, you're going to use it in your daily life. So I can't wait till you guys see all of this and we get started learning. See you soon, guys. Peace out.